I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Inside of this capsule, I have Masky Chitaris. Mischo Chitaris is the largest genus of social wasp, containing over 200 species and subspecies, which is the main reason I felt a need to cover this species during sting week. Forgive me if I butcher that name. Um, this is basically the executioner wasp side. Mischo Chitaris wasp build a relatively simple single comb nest. Sometimes the nest is built within a meter of the nest of a Palestis carnifax, showing how even though species can be totally different, they can learn to live symbiotically together. The lesser known stepbrother of the executioner wasp. In fact, this is a totally separate species. It lives a slightly different lifestyle. It actually has found a way to utilize the executioner wasp potent sting by creating its colonies close to larger wasp species like Palestis carnifax. Now, I don't know how potent the sting of the Massey Chitaris is. Mischo Chitaris appear to show considerably more social and reproductive flexibility than Palestis. But I will test it today and we will find out. Let's go ahead and induce a sting and we'll find out just how painful that actually is. I'm gonna induce a sting right here on my forearm. This is the Massey Chitaris sting test. One, two, three. Okay, I felt a little sting. Certainly gonna have some swelling. Not bad at all. It's almost like this wasp species has evolved to not worry about a sting, more so just to worry about survival and utilizing other people's potent stings. Being small, maybe it's a way to be less detected. Now, I did receive a sting right in this area, and it is progressively getting a little worse. Well, Massey Chitaris is gone now, but we're able to get a sting and that's all I cared about here. I want to be sure that it was set free too. So we'll give this a few minutes and we'll see just how bad the sting swelling site actually is. Foraging adults bring nectar and small caterpillars back to their nest to feed the developing larvae which are individually housed in separate cells within the nest. It's starting to feel a little bit of irritation but no significant swelling just yet. We're about a minute into it now. It's getting dark, but I wanted to make sure that the small Machiciardis wasp made it back to its colony. And to my surprise, it did. It's right here. There were two here when I got here. I took one, and there's still two. I'll show you. I need to turn my camera light on to actually show you, but right there is the colony here. Let me flip it. Right here. They are both right there tending to their young. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. I like seeing a happy ending. The wasp was uninjured and they're able to take care of their larva. If you look real closely, you can actually see the larva inside of there. Really cool. This is five minutes into the Machiciardis sting. A nice little whelp, but not too bad. 